What's up, what's up, what's up? YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, etc. Thanks for tuning in to Delta Filter Guy. As you know, this is Tracy. What is up, what is up, what is up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to Delta Filter Guy. As you know, this is Tracy. I'm going to keep this video kind of short, sweet, and to the point. Hopefully, it don't go over maybe four minutes. But, the thing that I want to talk about today is sex. I know it's a touchy subject with some parents, maybe guardians, grandparents, sisters, brothers, and it just, it, whatever. But, um, today, the one thing that I want to talk about, um, and tell you guys is to always wrap it up. Always get tested regularly. Reasoning being for this video is because, um... As you guys know, Jackson, Mississippi is the number three, or number one, I forgot. I think it's number three, um, with the most HIV and AIDS, like, epidemic in the U.S. Num like, Jackson, Mississippi is literally number three or number one. I'm not sure if it kind of increased a little bit. I'm not sure because I know a lot of people started to get tested. I was one of those people. Mine came back negative. Thank God. I, um, with that, I don't have sex. I have way more things that I could be doing besides just having sex. Um... A lot of people, like, um, I forgot who that woman was, um, that was on, shoot, I forgot that movie. Um, I forgot that movie, and I bet I'm gonna remember it as soon as I stop this video. But, um, The Help, there it is. Um, a lot of people, like, remember her for saying that we always, the only thing, um, that we always eat. And also, um, I think I've also heard, like, the only thing there is to do in Jackson, Mississippi, quote, the only thing there is to do in Jackson, Mississippi is to go to Walmart, eat, and have sex, which I'm not trying to say, but it's slightly true, but this for the people who don't find interesting things to do, because I always find something, some things that's, um, interesting to do where there's going on funding, where, um, actually the help was shot. Um, my best friends and I go there, we just walk around and stuff like that. But, uh, back to the subject, um, I always wrap it up, keep yourself cautious, because you never know who you're sleeping with have had sex before you, they probably have had an STD they, um, have gotten rid of, but still, like, morally, it's still there. You still contracted something, although that you have gotten rid of it, and thank God you have, but it's still there, like, it's still engraved in your mind that you have had something. Um, what else can I speak about? I also want to give a shout out to um, the No Hate campaign and all of the LGBT community um, guys and the females out there who actually stand up right next to their um, brethren or sisterin who has HIV and AIDS. Being gay is very hard. It's very hard. And that's why I tell a lot of people, that's why I preach on Twitter, on Facebook, and all this stuff like that. If you are gay, why do you bash other gay people? It's already hard enough. AIDS are like, it's It's real. AIDS is very much so real. Then you have these ridiculous straight people who want to criticize you and bash you just because you are who you are. This real, one-on-one. I don't understand it, but it is what it is. I am personally a proud gay activist. I call myself a gay acti activist because I stand up for my rights. I stand up for what is right. I mean, it is what it is. I will always stand next to someone who has HIV, like straight, gay, bisexual, transgender, anything. If you have HIV and AIDS, I will support you. If you are gay, I will support you. If you are straight, I will support you because this is the type of person that I am. Um, going back to the subject, um, I think if you are, if you are HIV and, uh, uh, HIV and AIDS or positive and you have a strong background, that is going to make you stronger as a person. That's why I give you guys the utmost respect. The guys who um who actually like tell their stories and come to little schools events and just tell like do um awareness. You get the utmost respect from me because you are putting your life out there for us to read. That's why I care so much. Me as an eighteen year old young um black man well mixed man, it's it's hard. It's very much so hard because people look down upon me because A I'm gay. And they think that I'm supposed to be all flamboyant and weak. And they also say that because I'm an African-American uh, gay man, that I am the cause of HIV and AIDS. I don't know if that's true. I really don't care if it's true. But you guys, wrap it up and be safe. Get tested regularly.
Thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe to Delta Felta Guy. Follow me on Twitter and follow Delta Felta Guy on Twitter. Um, my, I'm going to put it like, it's going to be somewhere down here. So I'm just going to, I think it's going to be like right there. Yeah. But um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at diamonds underscore pal. I'm going to follow you back because I'm team follow back. So peace out. Oh, I must cuss, but peace out.